In this video, I'm talking about why you may want to avoid the Acer Swift X in choice of one of these laptops over here in your purchasing decisions. So make sure you hang on to find out why. Now, first and foremost, let's get into what we're looking at before us. We have the Acer Swift X with the i7 1260p and RTX 3050 Ti and 16 gigs of RAM. On this side of the table, we have the Acer Nitro 5 with the i5 12500H and RTX 3050 Ti. So the only difference here is going to be the high TDP performing processor versus the ultra low power ultrabook processor. And then we have the HP Victus with the i5 12500H and the RTX 3060. Okay, all these laptops are actually around the same price point. I think we're around the $1,100 to $1,200 price point for the Swift X14, around the $900 price point for the Acer Nitro 5, and around the $11 to $1,200 price point for the HP Victus. So let's make sure we're making the right purchasing decision for your needs. So the first question is, what are you doing with your laptop? Comment below right now. Let me know what you're using your laptop for. I'm curious if you're considering the Acer Swift X, why you are looking at it. What are you going to be doing with it? Okay. Now, the next thing to ask yourself is, is that enough power? For what I want to do. And that's what we're going to get into right now. There's a lot of things we could compare between these laptops like ports and screen and all that, but I want to focus on this video, just performance. Now jumping into the simulated benchmarks, it would appear that the Acer Swift X is the best choice out of all of them. It tops the simulated benchmarks for Geekbench single core, multi-core, Cinebench R20 and R23 multi-core. And as we get into Photoshop, you can see that it's still topping the charts for Photoshop. It is just a better performing CPU for things that don't require a lot of GPU heavy lifting. The new i7-1260P is a whole new chipset that Intel has designed, so it's thriving a lot in CPU intensive tasks. However, as we head into something like After Effects, it continues to show that it really doesn't stand a chance versus these H-series processors. Now that story continues as we head into video editing. The Acer Swift X is plenty of power for 4K video editing. However, if you're gonna get into 6K video editing, then you may wanna consider the HP Victus with that extra boost in GPU power. We go from four gigs in these two laptops here to six gigs in the HP Victus with the RTX 3060, and that really does make a quite a difference for 6K video editing. Now, the biggest difference between these three laptops is definitely gonna find itself in 3D modeling, and that is where I would push you away from the Acer Swift X and the Acer Nitro 5. The RTX 3050 Ti just doesn't have quite the punch to create a really great laptop for 3D modeling or architecture. The HP Victus with its i5 12500H and RTX 3060 has a lot more guts, has a lot bigger punch, especially with the graphical work that takes place with 3D modeling and architecture programs. And as you can see from the benchmark charts, it moves up to the mid level of most of the charts, whereas the RTX 3050 Ti equipped laptops in both of these Acers are falling down the charts. And I just wouldn't consider it as a great pick, especially at the price point. You can get the Acer laptops here for around $900 to $1,100, or you can get the HP Victus for around $1,200 to $1,300 tops for the spec that I have here. And I'll link in the description below each of the links so you can check out the price point, live pricing, and configuration options that you have available to you. Now, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now, it is possible to find the Acer Nitro 5 with an RTX 3060, and if you really like the Acer Nitro 5, then I would consider doing that. However, these are the laptops that I have configured before me, so which is why I'm using them in the example of this video. Comment below and let me know what you think. Let me know if your purchasing decision has been shifted or changed at all. I love to put out helpful videos to help you refine what laptop you're going to purchase. Again, links are in the description below if you are ready to make a purchase. Likes of this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.